Sabarigiri International Airport is a proposed airport project to be built for the Central Travancore as well as the Sabaramala pilgrims at Cheravali Estate in Manamala Panchayath, Kanjirapali Taluk near Irumali of Khatiyam District, Kerala in India. Kerala GOVT and Central Government of India, gave approval to construct airport for Sabaramala at Cheravali Estate near Irumali. It is a table-top plateau airport and with vast scope for further expansion. It also requires minimal capital and maintenance cost given strong soil and topography. The Sabaramala Temple is situated on the Western Ghats in Kerala's Pathanamthitta district. One of India's holiest shrines is 48 kilometers from proposed airport. Once commissioned, Sabari International Airport would be the fifth international airport in the state after Trivandrum International Airport, Calicut International Airport, Cochin International Airport, and Kannur International Airport. The Sabarigiri International Airport is the fifth international airport to be proposed in Kerala. The government approved the project on 19 June 2017. The airport construction will begin immediately if court verdicts in favour of Government of Kerala. The ownership dispute regarding the Cheravalli estate is pending before the High Court. As per the settlement register, which is the basic revenue record, it is government land. It is proposed on a 2,263 acres square kilometers of land at Irumali, Khatiyam district. The airport facilitates the travel of Sabaramala pilgrims and people of the adjacent districts. Kerala State Industrial Development Corporation is conducting the study of the airport. U.S. infrastructure consulting firm with strong presence in Americas has been directed to submit report to Ministry of Environment and Civil Aviation regarding environmental effect as well as traffic potential including international traffic from Sri Lanka, Malaysia etc. and get clearance within maximum June 2018. Cheravalli Estate The site for the proposed airport is Cheravalli Estate, formerly the site of a rubber plantation. Initially the estate belonged to Harrison Plantations and later by the RPG Goenka Group. Gospel for Asia, a Christian missionary under Believer's Church took it over from the Goenka Group. Former secretaries and Raja Manicham found that the sale was not valid as there was no proper survey number and cases in court. 